continuing on on part two, what I'm doing now, instead of running this set in um, stereo, I'm checking the um, the traps I was discussing earlier on. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm s still feeding in a signal to the uh, front end of the tuner, and I'm still giving it the uh, well. At the moment, it's about 17 kilohertz into the. Uh, modulation of the Marconi, so the, mo the modulated signal is about 16-17 kHz and you can see on the trace there let's call up a, uh, a waveform so you can see it a bit better, turn the brightness up a bit um, display, so we want time frequency so you can see it's about, yeah, about 16 kHz Put some noise rejection on here. Um, just bear with me a minute. So I'll put some noise filtering on. Where are we? HF reject. Okay, so we've got around 16 to 17 kilohertz. 16.84 kilohertz. Now what I'm going to do is increase the frequency and you should see this tailor off pretty quickly. There it goes. Now that's rapid fall off. Okay, it's starting to get noisy now so basically the filter is actually working really taking into account it's pretty getting close on peaking so what I'm going to do is adjust these notch filters here adjust this notch filter and this basically blocks the top end frequency response of the set I'm going to wind this winding out see the peak coming back again and this is all this is is an audio filter I'm going to wind it right out I think just to see how much further we can go before it rolls off so 18 kilohertz and winding it up that's 20. Okay, it's got the next range. Oh, that's down range. That's, so that's 20 kilohertz. Okay, it's 30. That's 40 kilohertz. So it's still got. It's got a huge audio. You've got. You can increase the frequency response of the top end of the tuner by a mile by just those notch filters. I wind them back in. You see, it's rapidly clamp it down. Oh, it's like, yeah, and that's interesting. It's not, and that's because, of course, it is a notch filter. So, what in theory, what if I if I turn this to 19 kilohertz? Now, as it's a notch filter, I want this to work, I want this to null this out, and it should peak. There it is. So the notch, there's the notch filter working now. So it's perfect operation range is when you get it as flat as possible. So there you go. That notch filter is set to 19 kilohertz. So basically the notch is, is in theory, if I go beyond there, yep, it does. So it's 20 kilohertz, 21 kilohertz is starting to come up again. Turn it down. 19 kilohertz. Turn it down again. 18, so it's working perfectly. I can't get it both in frame together, but you can see, oh, maybe I can just about. But you can see the way I turn it, it's the notch is working. Okay, so well, that's one one of the notch filter sets. Now, to be honest with you, unless you're recording an audio tape, I wouldn't bother with these notch filters anyway. I, I quite like the idea of having that little bit extended top end frequency response. I mean, people who may be of our ages can't hear it, but certainly. Younger people can probably hear close on 20 kilohertz. I remember a long time ago when I used to work at a hi fi shop, I could actually hear the 19 kilohertz pilot tone from quite a lot of the radios. Can't hear it now, but um, it is possible for people to hear it. So let's just check this one. Yes, yeah, so this is spot on. So this is the other channel, this is the second channel. Adjusting the notch filter again. So there's the notch filter for the other side. There it comes out a notch, nulled, back out a notch again. So that's 19 kilohertz. So that's 
basically the, that's all there is to the uh, stereo decoder on this you feed a 19 kilohertz signal in you adjust the notch filter to give a 19 kilohertz on the test point and then if should you want to which you usually never needs adjusting anyway but it's basically showing you the principle of how it works adjusting the uh, the, the audio notch filters to block the uh, the 19 kilohertz to, that interferes with the um, Dolby noise reduction um, what I'll try and do is I'll try and get a bit more detail on this the, the principles of setting this up this seems right to me um, but I will uh, try and find a uh, an older radio with some more test points and maybe a manual and uh, maybe I can do a bit more detailed information on this and maybe a bit more detailed setup and showing it better traces on the scope anyway I hope that showed had some interest and uh, thanks for watching